Carrie Hammer slag of Carrie Hammer says, dress for the job you want, not the job you have. And I love it. I love her dresses. She makes business wear for women that's cute and fun and in cool colors. And I just want to tie it in a big bow. Let's talk business. Carrie Hammer is a New York-based fashion startup focused on making cute, custom-fit clothing for women in the workplace. Carrie Hammer Slag is the founder and CEO of the line Carrie Hammer. Well, here we are with Carrie Hammer Slag of Carrie Hammer, which is such a cool name. Hey. So how are you doing? <laughs> I'm good. How are you? Good. Well, welcome to the Valley Girl Show. Thanks for having me. <laughs> Thank you. No, thanks for coming. So you're wearing one of your designs. Yep, this is a Carrie Hammer. And what's it called? What is this? Because you name all of them after people, right? Or after girls. Yep, this one is the <laughs> Raya. The Raya. Yes. Okay. It is so, I, I love it. Like, it's so flattering and it looks just amazing. Thank and I you. Like, right when you walked in, I was like feeling it and everything. <laughs> Tell me a little about Carrie Hammer. So, Carrie Hammer is a made to measure line for professional women. So, every single one is custom made, made to a woman's complete measurements. I love it. I love it. There is nothing like that out there. You know, there's yeah. nothing, especially in terms of business attire. Like I am always just searching, searching for, you know, like appropriate business attire. And I mean, then again, I'm also searching for pink business attire. And so you used to work in advertising, right? Mm -hmm. At Tremor Media. Yes. And so what made you decide to go from there to what you're doing now? Yeah, I was working in advertising sales and working with Fortune 500 companies, and I just didn't feel cute when I went into the <laughs> office. Of working. It's like the worst feeling it was, ever. It was horrible. When you don't feel cute, you just don't want to. You don't want to do anything. Yeah, and I, I was going in, spending so many hours of my week at work, and it, it just was disproportionate amount of my time feeling cute to not cute. <laughs> <laughs> and um, a disproportionate amount of my dollars spent on cute clothes to not cute clothes. And it just didn't make sense. And a lot of my guy friends were getting these really cool custom like suits, fitted suits and, yeah. and shirts with initials and popped collars. And I was just like, but this just doesn't make sense. How are you getting these really cool custom fitted things? And I have way bigger fit issues than you do. <laughs> So it just like wasn't making sense to me. Um, so I started Googling around to see if I could find somebody who would make something to my measurements because I do have some disproportion disproportion right. and um, found somebody who was who would make something for me custom to my size. And when I started getting things made to measure, I found people would literally stop me on the street. I couldn't walk down the block without somebody saying, where'd you get that dress? Really big companies would say, um, Carrie, I want to hear about that product unit, but hold on, where'd you get that dress? And I was like, okay, like, I'm going to file that away. That's something that, that's, that's going to be big. Yeah, definitely. I mean, I really feel like it is so difficult for women, prof professional women, to find cute, affordable clothing. Because I mean, sure, you could go spend like zillions of dollars to find like that perfect thing, but it's hard to find affordable clothing. You know? Exactly. Yeah. And, and that's one thing I found as well is um, I would go try and shop for myself. And yeah, there was a selection of professional clothing, um, but it wasn't that cute, it was still kind of expensive, and I, I wanted to find something really cute. It was at a very high price point. Yeah, it's like, you know, you're spending like $700 to $1,000 on a suit or something like that. That's crazy. Exactly. And if it's in like a fun contemporary color and I spent $1,000 on it, then <laughs> everyone's like, well, there goes Carrie in that tail suit again. You know, yeah. one hit wonder, that one. <laughs> like, you know. You want to be able to have a nice, fun selection and, and feel good. Before we get more into, um, you know, Carrie Hammer, you, you've you always been really into design. Like, you you love design, right? I know your apartment was just featured on Apartment Therapy, and it's going to be in Time Out New York. Is that true? Yep, that's right. Yeah, I was looking at pictures. Your apartment is so cute. Thank you. Yeah, I love it. I'm just come from a line of artists. My mom's an artist. Yeah, your mom is an incredible artist. An awesome she, artist. She makes these big, you know, sculpt, what are, they're like sculptures, glass sculptures. Huge, kind of awesome, like, sculptures. They're all mosaic, um, gla glass, 
and yeah. she, she makes her own glass. Oh my so God. that, cause uh, the glass that they sell is like not bright enough for her. <laughs> so she has it all like made in these pop uh, glass colors. Now, would you consider yourself a fashion technology company? Yes, absolutely. Um, we want to make everything very easy um, and online. Like we said, once we have your measurements, you never have to do it again. So you can just go online the website, see the new styles and the new colors, and just super seamless and you can order again, you know, you know, for the next meeting, for the next season. It'll save all your information and everything. And do you feel like the sort of intersection of fashion and technology made it easier or harder for you to start your company? Absolutely easier, 100%. I, I think it like, you know, it's really interesting, but it's also probably made it a very, a more competitive space. Do you feel that way? I mean, it's, uh, it's made it um, easier for companies to enter the space, but it's also created so much more opportunities and um, j just for consumers. Totally. Because something like this would never be able to ha happen without the internet yeah. and without globalization and things like that. So it's, it's wonderful Definitely. what technology has provided for us as consumers and us as technologists and everything. So it's it's. Fantastic. Have you taken anything from your advertising background and implemented it in your um, startup? Yeah, oh yeah, absolutely. And I mean, uh, I come from also a search background, so that's going to be applicable. And, and oh, that's like so that. good. So yeah, it's so nice when you can search on sites. Everything I've done to date has helped, you know, with this. Well, so what tips do you have for new entrepreneurs who are just starting out? I think the the best advice that was given to me was, you know, ask a lot of questions and everyone is so happy to give advice. And I found that to be completely the truth. Every phone call and every email that I've sent out has been so happily received. Like the highest level people um, have been so wonderful to me and given me so much advice. And so just you know, ask. So generous with their yeah. time. So just ask. I feel like that's the biggest thing. I think a lot of people are afraid to just ask. Exactly. Yeah. So and and so was I. Uh, and the second I started asking, the easier it got because I saw how wonderful people and how generous people were with their time. Now, I would love to take a look at some more of your dresses. Yes, absolutely. So this I brought is, a couple. So yeah. this is one of them. This is um, the Raya. So. This is, which I absolutely adore and it Thank really you. is so flattering. It has a and fun neckline. Yeah. And um, this is the Joyce. Okay. Just name it after one of my friends. So cute. We need we need one named after you. I know. Um, this is the Cerise. Oh, I love this. This is, this is so cute. Um, this one's named after my mom. This is the Jean. Oh. And you can't tell right now, but it's a cute shoulder. Oh, I love and it. it. Like and I love the material. <gasps> How cute is that? Yeah. With the buttons. Oh my goodness, I love this. Yeah. yeah. So they're fun. Oh, and they're so I, fun. And so I brought you a couple measuring tapes. So. Oh so, okay, yeah. So how would you take your measurements? So um, I need 10 different measurements. Okay. They're all a bunch of standard ones like bust, hip, waist. And then like I have some other ones because I, it's totally customizable. Like you can choose your sleeve length or your dress length even, which is great because if you're tall like you are, I'm so tall. Things might hit you much yeah. higher than it's supposed to for the average woman. The average dress is cut for the five six woman, and you're much taller than that. Yes. So it cuts you higher. So you can say, I want the dress to hit me here, and then measure whatever length that is. So how do you come up with your designs? They're all runway inspired designs. Whatever is kind of of the moment right now. Big shoulders are in. Peplum is in right now. Okay. So kind of like What's that little. What's peplum? It's that the kind little, of like these, the, the little like little like turkey kind of tummer, tummy thing. I you know? love it. Like you can have a big turkey dinner and, and hide still it. eat it and yeah. still eat the whole turkey yeah, and exactly. you'll be okay. <laughs> exactly. And, and and on that note, I would love to oh, no. to gift you one. What? Yes. Oh, I am so excited. I think we should do a tape measure dance. A tape measure dance? Yes. Okay.
Girl. And I'm like Carrie Hammerslag of Carrie Hamper. And now it's time for your dits moment. I'm like the Valley Girl. And I'm like Carrie. <laughs> 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 I told you, everyone messes with that person.